Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is. Don't worry, I try to jam pack my videos with as much content and as much detail as I possibly can. Anything I feel I can comment on and that I feel you might be interested in, I pretty much put in the video. I try not to repeat myself and talk fairly fast. The the hotel very suddenly loses all its guests. Like when they arrive, you know, right there on the island, it's like, you know, surrounded by people. And then the moment they get into the, the resort, you know, no one is there suddenly. It's it's ridiculous. Like even if all of the guests we were seeing were supposed to go right back on the boat that they just arrived. You know, for one thing, I'm almost certain they couldn't all fit there. You know, just, yeah, it's it's ridiculous how all of them are just, and, you know, okay, so it's the off-season. Still, there's just, there's no one but these four, and we find out that the reason those four are there is, you know, was was planned. So, are you telling me that there would be no guests in the off season whatsoever if not for the yeah that's that's pretty ridiculous and you know the the when when julie is like doing you know karaoke you know and and you know Jennifer is perceived as like ah, everyone's a singer in this movie almost but, you know, yeah, she's like, you know, I should have made you leave the key, and, you know, ah, I can't remember the lyrics. Okay, let me try, I still know what you did last time. Oh, wait. Much has already been made of the fact that they get the answer wrong, and that if you're in the audience and you... If... If you know the correct answer, then it's going to bother you from right away. And, you know, they're basically hoping that the audience is not aware of what, you know, I mean, it's not like ridiculously obscure. If, if you know geography, then, you know, yeah. And the thing is, it didn't have to be, you know, it's, it's so that when they tell Estes, when they tell Bill Cobbs, you know, he, he doesn't show it at first, but he's, you know, the, he already almost kind of knows. I mean, he, he knows who Will is. So, you know, I mean, it's, yeah, basically when he saw Will, he probably realized that there was something wrong. And then when he hears about the contest and how they won, you know, it's like he put two and two together and he didn't even show like in his face any kind of concern. He was just like, ah, oh, that's good, you know. And then later he said, you know, he's he, you know, he apparently was the one who set the the globe thing spinning, just so he could walk up and say, no, that was the wrong answer, you know. The, anyway, the 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 way you could have done this so that it wouldn't have been obvious to people who who knew better is just have the reveal be. There was no competition, you know, the, the, there was no contest there that he's like, you know, you know, may, maybe he just, maybe it's his favorite radio station too or something, but, and it's also, it could really easily have gone wrong if they had like, I mean, in fiction, don't they usually like put on the radio when they hear that they've just been called by the radio, I don't know. But, yeah, if they had been listening to the radio, I don't know, I guess Will was watching them. We know it was him called, but, yeah, it's just, you know, the, the moment that Estes sees Will, he'd be like, there's something wrong here. And then the moment they say, we won the, the competition, you know, oh, which, you know, oh, what radio station was, you know, oh, that one. And then either he already knows, maybe, yeah, if he's been listening to it, for the last few days, then he would have heard if there was, like, at least if he was listening, you know, we wanted this, you know, like, let's say Saturday morning, and let's say, you know, but he was listening to it Saturday morning, there was no contest at that time, 
you know, or maybe he called in afterwards and asked and, you know, something, but it didn't have to be something that the audience might well have known the correct answer about. I don't know if the, the thing with the fake radio voice kind of thing was meant to be similar to Scream. I mean, he doesn't use a voice modulator, but it's still this kind of, you know, we still have this reveal where he talks in that voice when, the, yeah. You know, it's, in this we get some, some backstory on Ben, and it's, of course, you know, pieces, of, they found her, or pieces of her at least, you know, it's nice and, you know, it's it's actually, I don't know if, maybe they already were, like, thinking we're not going to get a third one. I mean, considering that she shoots Ben at the end. I mean, in the first one, it's like, he could have survived that. I mean, he could have gotten out of the, the way in time. It's just, yeah, I mean, all that really happens at the end of the first one is he loses his hand. You know, if you can stop the bleeding in time, that's fine. You know, and as we well know he replaces that hand with a hook so i i love when he kills the the you know uncredited jack black appearance he stabs him with the hook and then he leaves the hook there so he then has to just like stretch his arm over and he does you know when you watch him he he's not actually stepping away from him he doesn't use his right hand when he, you know, because that's where the hook is, but, yeah, nevertheless, it's, yeah. But, you know, this kind of thing of backstory and something you didn't know about the, you know, you thought that you knew, you thought that you knew his family history now, you, you know, okay, he, he lost his daughter and then he killed the guy that he thought was responsible for it, and then he, you know, they thought that they'd killed him and so he kills them in you know, and tries to kill them in response. And then in this we know, we find out what happened to his wife, and there, you know, people say a lot of things. And we find out he has a son as well, and it's really pretty ridiculous, the, the name again. I, I feel like that's, again, they're, they're expecting the teenagers watching to be really stupid and to need it to be really obvious for the reveal. You know, like, it's one thing that the the last name is literally like the old school kind of, you know, Benson, Ben's son, you know, and his first name is Will. They literally just reversed the names for the, yeah. I mean, I mean, at least we know, I, I don't know, I suppose it's possible that that was his, you know, fake name in case that they, yeah, he probably changed it from something, something Willis, you know so that they would, but nevertheless, what he changed it to was incredibly obvious. But, yeah, the, you know, I, the, with, with us finding out that he had a son, it's possible that he helped out during the events of the first one, and then just both of them hid after, you know, the climax of the first one, but that, you know, that could help some of the, you know, Maybe he was in a rain slicker for some of that time, but anyway. The when when he accidentally stabs his son, you believe that it devastates him. You know, I, I really like that they did you know, as of the, the climax of the first one, we, we do see Ben's face and Muse Watson gets to act, you know, he's He's genuinely creepy whenever we see his face, and like, you know, I mean, when he's walking, he's he's scary when he's walking too, but we don't know if how much of the time that's Muse, and, you know, I mean, f f a lot of the time with slashers, they'll hire like a stuntman, because it's purely a physical performance, he's probably gonna need to be like, smack down and such, and it's just, you know, instead of saying, okay, this is the part where he gets smacked around, Let's bring in the stuntman. They can just say, okay, that's the stuntman. And he already knows how to, like, if he has to, like, throw one of the teenagers or, like, pick them up or something. He knows how that works because he's a stunt guy. And it's probably also kind of 
cost kind of thing. But you know, the stunt guy is used to not showing his face and being in being a physical presence. That you know, whether whether the stunt person is supposed to be scary or whatever, it's it's a physical performance always, and they're they're used to you know making it very convincing with just the physical performance so it's possible that I wasn't used walking that much but whenever you see his face whenever you hear his voice you know he's he's really really good and yeah the like you know and and Will's face also dad how could you know and and Ben is like no it's like yeah really you know and and it's this thing of you're almost like you know it's almost this kind of thing of like you know live by the live by the hook die by the hook kind of thing and you know he's been like there's there's maybe some schadenfreude that you know he well he's been killing all these other people suddenly he kills someone that matters to him and you know you know i mean if he had just said okay fine, the two of them survived, I'm gonna leave them, then his son wouldn't have ended up dead, you know, so, but, yeah. In the first movie, when, actually, yeah, just briefly, you know, I, I love the thing with, you know, the, I, oh, you all that blood, you know, you're, she's gonna bleed out, you know. I love how she says, you're gonna bleed out, and then she says you're gonna be fine. You know, I mean, the basic idea is that I have to take care of the wound now, but also like she's not like completely losing it. She's like still somewhat in, you know, calm and in control of the situation. You, know, but it's still kind of silly. But yeah, the, you know, it's it's a great reveal. With oh, I can't I can't find the wound. It's because it's not my blood. What? It's not my blood, you know, and the, yeah. And, I mean, also the, the obvious, he's, like, talking, like, you know, when, when he, you know, when he's on the boat, he's, like, talking, this is why you have the problem with the thing, and, you know, the, the thing. It's, it's an equilibrium thing, and there, you know, you could have taken a pill, but it's too late now, and the, yeah, I, I do quite like that thing of, like, you know, some people just can't fly, some people just can't sail, you know, the, yeah, and, you know, he's, like, talking, you know, because of global warming, just, you know, the, look, the scientific consensus, you know, the, the jury's still out on that one. But yeah, the and and you know the the reveal near the end with you know I yeah dude is really creepy once he's not you know and the you know hi dad just yeah so so good and you know in the first one it was the thing of like maybe Ray's the you know Billy Blue and he's kind of creepy oh that's balanced you know I get run over by a car. Helen gets her head, you know, her hair chopped off. Julie gets a body in the trunk, and you get a letter, you know. So it's like, wait, did he even get a letter? Is he like, you know, you know, is, is he the one avenging David Egan, or you know? And the, you know, come to think of it, I almost feel bad that Helen. I mean, she was kind of right. The the guy who was up there that they thought they had run over did want to die, that's why he was up, you know, he, or he, actually, no, wait, he, you know, we find out that that wasn't, that wasn't an actual suicide, Ben killed, anyway, she never did find out that they didn't actually kill anybody, so that's, anyway, yeah, you know, so, so in the first one, there's that thing, and especially comes into play there at the very end, and then we get the reveal that it really was, Ben and you know in this it then turns out to be Will who's you know maybe she could eventually be boyfriend you know her her boyfriend you know he he's nice and sweet and even romantic and you know it would have made a lot in the first one if it had turned out to be great that would have made a lot more sense than it does for it to be, to in this turn out to be Will you know Ray was actually 
he was already in Southport and he I'm not certain if he did go to school with David or yeah I'm, as far as I understand they they did all seem to go to that same school they were you know so it's possible that he you know as far as we know he he didn't but it could have been he could have been a friend of David's you know and yeah I mean in this somehow will is going to the same college and taking some of the same classes as Julie and he seems you know he seems like boyfriend material to Carla and you know to Carla for Julie yeah it's just it's a bit of a stretch it's also just like if he the, it's it's not that difficult to find out who someone was if he like changed his name within the last you know and yeah and he almost must have because the the name of the I forget her name but you know the the woman in a refrigerator in the first we don't even see her at any point that you know she dies so that she can motivate you know yeah anyway yeah it, like like a mini fridge in a car you know was where, where she died she you know in the in the newspaper article it just said you know her her father Ben Willis the local fisherman survived so you know if if will knew let's we're I want to keep calling him a will because we don't know what else he should be called if Will knew that and tried to, you know, I mean, we don't know exactly. I mean, yeah, they were they were working together. They planned it together and did the whole thing, you know. So he changed his name. So because if it was like, I mean, with how worried Julie is, she, you know, it's also pretty ridiculous that after in the first one she thought that the person she had dated was actually you know the killer in this she's willing to get so close to someone she doesn't excuse me she doesn't know you know any more than she does I mean we we don't even like Carla has been dating Ty Ty for three months she says is that how long they've been like it's it's been a full year since the events of the first one so I guess it is possible that he has been there that whole year so that she's known him for that long but wouldn't she want to make sure that there weren't any other like relatives of Will Ben rather that you know just and yeah if he changed his name very recently you know it could have been that like hypothetically let's say that he was involved in something with the police he doesn't even have to be the one like arrested but just if they like if they're taking statements or something and they're like will benson you say we don't have a will benson you know and they find out his real name that would probably become public you know what his real name is and what his relation is when he changed it and from what and uh, yeah just it it's it's a pretty ridiculous twist but yeah and you know the I I like that in this I mean in the first one a little bit Ray like fights Ben but Julie doesn't particularly like she just she runs from him hides from him and so and she's like she does what she can to run and she's not like being stupid about how she runs from him but you know nevertheless in this she actually gets to fight him she shoots him I think I counted like eight or nine times from a six shooter after the first one didn't you know why did why did that first one not work I mean he did say load it so the did he only put you know why wouldn't he have made sure that the first you know one I, I don't know I guess it's possible that the guy didn't you know really what was that the guy who wouldn't look Tom Cruise in the eyes when he ordered a drink in Vanilla Sky or he, he kind of looks like him and and the guy who's like 
in in Memento who like lends out the the room to to any, anyway L lens leases whatever um the yeah no, the the it's it's nice that Ray took it seriously enough that he actually bought and brought a gun and you know we have that oh he's pawning the 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 ring you know it's it does make sense and he's not bad at negotiating you know 250 300 and the gun you know he's he's yeah and you know and then he points the gun on the you know at the the fisherman dude so he can get the you know, fisherman the the boater kind of guy you know so that he can get the boat and i guess he maybe told him or actually maybe he did get through on the radio on the boat you know which i guess i don't why didn't that work anyway i did ben sabotage that as well i can, I can see how he would a basically be able to sabotage the the you know the the islands the the resorts radio and you know s get rid of the boats and such but how did he sabotage that you know and you you might say you know how did ben get there before that you know it's possible that he hid on you know or maybe he used a boat of his own or something i i can you know that's that's not too bad but yeah you know the 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 coast guard shows up there at the end you know when everything has been settled the the old hollywood trope of that and you know see this is why we can't have gun control it is possible that you and your girlfriend will be stalked by a man with a hook for a hand and you'll need a gun to take him out of commission duh and yet again ben goes out of his way not to kill ray you know i mean he was the one who drove the car although in this he does try to run him over which i say in the review it's too similar to the first one they they literally had to do that one again and he somehow outruns the car for a while and you know dodges the the you know the the what's it called the the truck as well who is this guy kyle reese but i, I don't know maybe there is like a fisherman's oath that like you know fishermen do not do harm to to anyone else but you know it's it's becoming clear to me that in these two films if there is someone with car trouble if if there's like a car accident or someone's having you know the fisherman can't be too far away you know like in the first one they run him over and then he runs over Barry and then he fakes having car trouble so that the sheriff you know the the cop gets out and you know and then in this he stages having you know having been in an accident and then that's like you know up the body of someone else and then you know then he tries to run over Ray so yeah wherever there's car trouble in these two you know I mean Ray should have just been like you know okay that the, the you know I mean he did figure fisherman but then he's like you know okay someone else ran dude has the worst luck he keeps getting run over and yeah you know then of course the the you know the other guy gets killed and like ben doesn't even pursue him like ray just rolls down a hill it would have been so easy for ben to just get out of the car follow him down there like what did he not see that that's what happened i yeah it's it's pretty ridiculous and you know the I like like with the first one. I I really enjoy the the ending scare. Like you know, on the first one, he you know comes through the the glass on the you know mirror. Can, it, yeah, one of those two things, and just comes out. And then at the start of this one, they do that kind of scare again, but just with the you know what's it called the confession thingy. You know the rectory. As it's not being painted at the time, 
and then at the end, you know, sees in the mirror, he's right, you know, under the bed, and he grabs her and pulls her in, and that is just such a great image, you know, it's, it's almost a shame that that image in, you know, in quarantine was given away by the, the trailer and the poster, anyway, I... I don't know if maybe like the the small growth of the the Julie Ray relationship is like it's supposed to like be similar to the Dewey Gale relationship in the Scream series or, or what exactly, but yeah. And the you know, he may love that toothbrush, but I'm pretty sure he's using it wrong. I, I'm pretty sure he's supposed to hold the electric toothbrush more or less still on the... But it's probably one of those things that, you know, it doesn't look right to, to us if it's not being, you know, used brushing like that. But, you know, the, the black girl actually lives, you know, I mean, it, in Slashers, women die... And black people especially die. I mean, they do even they do kill off Ty, but he dies close to the end. You know, I mean, then again, you're one of the first people to die is a black guy. You know, I, I really do like the the thing with you know he he has the the accent, and then you know the, the Bodo guy goes oh well and and talks to him, and then he has no accent. That's yeah, really good. But yeah, it's you know evidently. Black lives do matter. And the, you know, Carla is like, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to change my major to economics. Good field. And I'm going to go to Wall Street because that way I can afford this kind of big bed. Well, crap, if that's all, I mean, if that's what the whole Wall Street thing is about, I, I'll chip in if, if, you know, if you'll stop wrecking our economy, you can have bigger beds. And, you know, I, I'm not 100% sure how Ray is supposed to have known, like, I get that he could get the number if he just knows the, the resort. How does he know the resort? That was not in the call. We see the entirety of the call that he, like, well, apparently, like, she left messages. I, I guess it's possible that, you know, it was in one of the messages, and then she, like, and then he went home and listened to the messages before. Well, actually, okay, I suppose that's possible. And, you know, they, they get to Estes' this place, and like you know, all this this creepy stuff, and they're like wondering, dude, who do you voodoo? This bugs me every time. Has since the first time when Julie has the fire axe. Why doesn't she actually try to attack Ben? He's on the other side of a door. It's you're in a you're in a really good position to like. I I feel like they could just have had like he runs off in the other direction or something when she has the axe, but instead she runs away, you know, I mean, it, it would make sense to just, yeah, you know, wait for him to get closer to the door and then try to attack him with the, you know, the door itself is still locked. And, you know, when, when they get into the, you know, yeah, they, they find, you know, so, you know, Mackay Pfeiffer consistently, you know, does not believe that, that Ben is around. And suddenly, just as he's saying it, he does get killed, which I guess means he is, in fact, not the future. I don't know why Nancy doesn't have a knife. She, I, I guess it's the comical kind of thing of, like, a, a woman with a, you know, rolling pin. It's just, I, I... I love how rolling pin is like one of those words. If you don't know what the what that means, you will have no clue what it's actually like. A rolling pin. How how do you get from that to the actual visual, the actual thing? I anyway. 
yes, the the you know I I guess that's the that's the reason she doesn't have a a knife when she's standing there. Like she actually she she was smart enough to get into a hiding spot, one that doesn't even have I. That's another thing in this. I, I guess that's that's the necessity because otherwise they couldn't keep the scares coming. They keep finding great, you know, hiding spots and then leaving them. They're like, maybe someone's in here in the, you know, he's he's going in there for food. That makes decent enough sense. Although, you know, again, as long as they're together, it's less likely that they'll all be harmed. And at that time, they aren't like walking carefully on the beams and you know trying to. To, to walk on the glass and the yeah and you gotta love how Brandy somehow survives falling through this glass yeah anyway you know they go in there like oh come on you're you're hungry too and then they open the door and Nancy is there and I mean I get that he needed something to you know because she hit him you know but why couldn't they go back there and then stay inside that hiding spot if they're all there standing ready with a weapon, if he opens the door, they can get him, you know, but, and, and the, you know, then they go into the, the bunker, and then Will gets them out, you know, and I do quite like how Estes remains scary until, it's really only once you realize that Will is Ben's son, that you understand what the deal is with Estes, you know, like, I mean, he says, I was just trying to protect you, and it's, okay, I guess that works, but then he, you know, suddenly he's gone, and it's like, wait, is he, is there still something, you know, what is, what is going on there, and then, you know, Will is like, don't worry, I'll get him, you know, and at the time, you don't think anything of it, but then he gets, you know, why didn't you tell us you had a boat, and you, again, you're thinking, is he working with with Ben some somehow you know and then he's like you're not going anywhere and he smacks Will and you're like no he is working with you know and then when when Will gets back you know we we and and then we see that you know there's, there's blood and we think you know he was attacked maybe before he was able to run away from Estes Estes came at him with a knife you know and yeah, then you realize it's not his blood, it's, you know, it's likely that it's Estes, although if he, yeah, and then you see, you do see Estes quite definitely bleeding, you know, and then, you know, he's been partially harpooned, and then Nancy gets fully, you know, gets the rest of the, you know, gets harpooned as well, and the, yeah, it's, I, I really do think they do a good job in this of, you know, he uses the, the shears on Jack Black, he uses the hook, you know, he gets the, the hook into the mouth and, you know, pulls away, you know, just great, and, I mean, he does do some of the same stuff in this that he also did in the first, you know, he carries the body of one of them on the hook, and, you know, and the, the thing in, you know, with, like, the, the throw of the mouth, very similar to in the first, and you know, yeah, he uses one of them uses the spear, and just and and I say in the review, I love the fact that the hook in these movies can stab. It makes no sense, none whatsoever. But just yeah, I I want it that way. I love it that way in these. It's just because that's what you want to see, you know, when the guy has a hook for him. I mean, it doesn't make sense in the urban legend either, you know. Oh, he, he gutted him with the, the hook, or he just, like, you know, ripped out his throat. It's just, I, I'm not sure it quite works like that, you know, that, that you could just, but, you know. Yeah, stabbing is definitely out of the question with it, and it's just, I, I love that it does somehow still work. made pretty substantial changes to the cover. Ray and Julie swapped sides. I've reviewed other parts of this franchise, the links are in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.